Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I'm gonna make a little video where I'm trying to show you the differences between swimmer cut sapis and regular cut sapis. Um, so basically, I'm gonna demonstrate this with two different carriers um, that I have on like here right now. Um, both of them are using dummy sapis or training plates, but both of the plates are cut one on one to real dimensions. So. They basically have the same size as a real one, they just don't have the real weight. Uh, just so you're aware of that. Um, to give you a little idea of how big and tall I am, I am 183 centimeters tall, roughly around 90 kilograms, um, 34 waist, and medium to large shirts. So you get a rough idea on how large plates fit me. Oh, yeah, by the way, both plates I'm using are size large. Um, in this carrier, I have size large. Dummy Sapis by LBX, and in the other carrier I have um, Emerson Swimmer Cut Training Plates, also a size large. So, um, first off, I'm not a real world operator, I don't use real plates, I don't have a need for them. So, if you're looking for real steel advice, you're probably on the wrong video, except you wanna learn something about how much movement and like how agile you're with different plates, which I'm gonna demonstrate because I am playing airsoft for 10 and a half years now and 95% of the time I ended up using a plane carrier over a chest rig because for some reason I can't make chest rigs work for me they always wobble around or they're too tight or not tight enough and I can't carry everything I need so I basically end up with a plate carrier all the time um, this plate carrier is a Ferro Concepts FC PC Gen 4.5 in size large, as I said. Um, the plates are LBX dummy sapis uh, in size large, of course. And I'm, I'm basically used to this, but I got a swimmer cup plate carrier in like one month ago. Um, I used it for two games and for some jogging stuff around my city during the night time. Or I rep uh, with them down from the bridge like three times. And it's awesome. So first off, um, to show you how much movement you have in these, uh, the plates fit me very well. They cover all the area they should cover. But for movement, when I try to reach stuff on my left belt side with my right hand, this is where I'm gonna get. I'm not gonna get any further. So there is no way I'm gonna reach stuff on my belt. Up front and on the right side, no problem, of course. But when I try to cross my arms, this is how far I will get basically with each face palm to the other elbow. So you get a rough idea. Try to keep this in mind when I'm gonna show you the other carrier. So I'm gonna change carriers real quick. So this plate carrier is the SNS Precision Plate Frame. Um, in size large, I got this one for a really good deal. And the biggest difference you might already have noticed is that the cut is a little bit different. So the angle where they cut the plates up front for your shoulders is a lot steeper. Um, so again, for comparison, this is the back set of the FCPC. This is how the plates are cut. You can see that there's just a little cut for the shoulders and on this plate carrier you have a really big cut. I mean as the name suggests um, they are swimmer cut plates so they are made for swimming so you can like swim on your belly or on your back or whatever. You have basically free movement which is even when you're not going to do maritime stuff with these a really good thing because first off how am I able to move in this? I can cross my arms this far. With the other plate carrier, the thing is I can't go any further because my biceps is hitting on the plate, which on this plate carrier they are cut with a bigger relief, so I can even reach stuff on my belt on my left side with my right hand, which is a good thing when you're rappelling. Um, so for example, when I rappel down some shit, um, of course my left hand is on the rope for stability and with my right hand I do all my management stuff. When you have a hook on your left belt side or something just catches up, you can't just 
like you know switching hands is possible but it takes time you can just use your right hand which i really like also since i'm playing airsoft uh, when i try to shoulder a weapon which happened to me before is i wasn't really able to comfortably place um, the stock in my shoulder socket i more so placed it kind of on the edge on the carrier which wasn't really comfortable for me but with this play carry you have a bigger cut for your shoulder so you have more than enough space to just put your gun on your shoulders i really like that super comfortable also and i don't know if it's a carrier or the plate cut but with this plate carrier the plates don't get in the way at all so um, during day games i end up not taking this off during the breaks i'll just keep it on which for example with my jpc 2.0 i had and just sold um that was sappy cut during the breaks i basically always took it off because um, the Kodura is really not that breathable and also I just you know wanted to be able to move freely but with this carrier I just I, I'm just in love with this carrier as you can tell. Swimmer cut plates are in my opinion as an airsoft are the way to go because you have complete free movement and you still have your nipples protected which is a thing that I'm really 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 cautious about because I'm gonna when, when, basically whenever I wear a chest strip, the first hit of the day I'm gonna get is at my nipples. I, I don't know why it's just it, it's just the way like that. I don't know why. Um, so these are the pros of swimmer cut plates. What are the contrasts? Well, basically, trying to find a carrier that will fit swimmer cut zappies is not that easy because they are not that common. So there are plate carriers out there. For example, the SNS Precision. Uh, plate frame which is well under $300 you can get them on eBay or basically everywhere else if you get a good deal on them get them they are super comfortable and lightweight and hydrophobic so they won't soak up any sweat and when it's raining it won't add any weight um, on the other side uh, we have cry JPC 2.0s with swimmer cut plate bags and when you have the money for that and I would highly suggest that is getting an ABS with swimmer cut plate bags because the Cry ABS is by far the most comfortable plate carrier that I have ever worn and I really regret selling it. But damn, um, an ABS with swimmer cut plate bags has to be the most comfortable thing I could think of right now. So I'm probably gonna build one again anytime soon, but I have this carrier for now. So that's Basically everything I can tell you right now. I will probably make an in-depth review of this carrier when I have a little bit more experience on this because as I said I only have it for like a month, wore it on two games and for some jogging during the nighttime around my city because the plates in these, even though they are Amazon, um, they are around one, one kilogram each plate, so it's at least two kilograms. Um, the SNS plates are 50% heavier, so one and a half kilograms each plate which should be even better when you want to get weighted plates. I know you can you could get training plates, but I just think they're ugly and I don't want to buy an extra carrier just for training plates, so I'm just going to use this. It will, it will do. Um, but yeah, that's basically everything I can tell you right now. Um, yeah, so if you think I forgot anything or you didn't like the video, make sure to dislike and leave a comment and tell me what I did wrong. Or if you think I did a good job, uh, like comparing the different plates to each other um, leave a like and make sure to subscribe which really helps me out because I'm a really small channel um, other than that I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you on the next video